guys. So I am starting the vlog in a very different location today. I am in business class on Qatar Airways and I'm flying to Doha in Qatar and we have a full weekend slash like beginning of the week so it's like Saturday to Tuesday and we've got loads to do. It's going to be really fun and I literally cannot wait. Someone's snoring already. Wow. I have a little bonnie over here setting up. <laughs> But yeah, we're in Qatar for four days and it's going to be so much fun. I literally can't wait, but I'm going to wait for this to finish and then I will have a proper chat with you when we're in the air. So we've headed down to the lounge and it looks really cool. So they've got all these little bits set up. So there's these, you've got some little nuts and stuff and obviously the little alcohol bar and all the little bits here. It's really, really cool. I'm such a like newbie. I've never been in like lounges and stuff. So I feel like I'm just like, wow, everything's so cool. <laughs> but this one's like a pro. She's yeah. always in them. <laughs> this is a particularly amazing one. Though. Oh my God, this it's so good. Really good, I love it. It's so nice. Oh yeah, we're about to have some champagne. <laughs> we decided we'd get some yeah. because we were like, eh, in the air, we're bored. <laughs> so we're gonna have some champagne instead of working. Yes, we are. I'm so excited. This one's actually really good as well. Oh, it's tattooed. Amazing. It's yummy. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try and get some snaps in here, I think. I've just put gym leggings and stuff on, but we're gonna see if we can get something and I don't know, just see what we can get. Just follow every move. Touch me. Let me know you want it to. Don't tell what you need. I am so excited. I literally cannot wait to go and see everything and do everything. Like even just the drive to the hotel was so stunning that I am very excited to explore properly. But we actually flew in this morning. So I was up at six, out the house and have not stopped traveling until what is now half four your time, but it's half, no, it's five your time, eight my time. So we're three hours ahead and it's already dark. So I literally have not been off a plane since dark to dark. But that's fine, I don't mind. We actually got upgraded really kindly to business class on Qatar Airways and it was a really, really comfortable flight. I actually got loads of work done and watched Judy, like the first half of Judy, which is about Judy Garden. Really, really good film so far, so recommend. And yeah, now I've obviously just got to the hotel. I literally have like five minutes to get ready for dinner because we agreed to meet at quarter past eight and it is currently about three minutes past eight. So I wanna quickly hop in the shower, but I thought that first and foremost, I would do a quick room tour because I wanted to show you the beautiful room that I'm in. I've just spotted, I thought I'd know. The plugs here are the same as the UK, which is very, very handy. So this is what you see when you walk in. So you've just got wardrobes on each side here, which I've actually not really opened yet, but obviously got like standard robes and stuff. And then this is the mini bar, which is the most beautiful cabinet. I actually want this cabinet. And we've just got your like Nespresso's and all your coffees and teas and all that kind of stuff in there. Then turning around, you have the bathroom, which is the most marble I've ever seen in my life. These mirrors are incredible. So they've got the really gorgeous rope detailing. Can you tell I'm into home decor at the moment? <laughs> and then obviously you've got these really gorgeous light up mirrors. They're gonna be great for doing makeup in. And then obviously you've got the sinks and stuff. You've got this giant bathtub, which I cannot wait to get in. I might actually have a bath in the morning and just kind of chill in there love this then in here is a toilet so you've just got a little toilet there and then this one is a shower so you've got a little double shower there so you've got the overhead one and that one you've got me in a mirror here this is going to be my mirror for taking all my outfit pics every day hello 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 and then if we go back through here I love this this is so beautiful you have the bedroom so over here is a desk and the guy who showed me to Roman was saying that I can use this while I'm here and I think it's so stunning, like it's the most beautiful fan. And then I've got some little treats which I'm gonna try later when I get back from dinner. So see what they taste like. They're kind of like the um, traditional delicacies of here. I think they're like sweets, but I'm not really sure. And then obviously the TV, turn it round and you've got this corner sofa, which is amazing. I've, I've got the little table there. So I'm gonna plan on sitting here tonight and getting a little bit of work done and just watching TV and then Obviously you have the gigantic bed there, which I actually think I could lie that way and still fit on that bed. It is humongous. It's gonna be great for all the gram shots for sure. And then obviously you've got this beautiful architecture that goes up and over your head, which goes literally all the way down. Can't even express how grateful I am to get these kind of opportunities where I get to go to these places. Like I think I say this in nearly every travel video, but I just feel so grateful to be able to travel and experience like five star hotels and business class, just as much as I like everything else. So my door's going, I need to answer that. So we have come to Villaggio Mall, which is basically like a Venetian inspired mall and it is so stunning. Sorry, my 
camera skills right now are so bad because I'm wearing little like espadrille heels but it's so pretty in here like you can kind of see behind me it's absolutely stunning and it's the most bougie thing I have ever seen everything is like the most expensive shop you've ever seen and there's like five Gucci's it's I mean yeah it's bougie but um, it's really really pretty in here and apparently somewhere through the mall there is actually a canal and you can get a gondola like you could in Venice and the ceiling apparently in certain bits is like inspired by like did you say the night sky or something I can't remember something like that so this is what I was just talking about with the canal so it starts here and I'm assuming you get in there and then you can go like through but they've even got like a night well this is obviously not the night sky but they've got the sky and they've got all their like Venetian inspired architecture it's absolutely ridiculous it's so cool So we've just made it to the harbour and we're about to get a boat over to Banana Island and this is kind of where you get the boat. It's very luxurious, I have to admit. So we're not really sure what, I think we're getting a catamaran, but I'm not really sure. And we can see all the Doha boats everywhere and I'm gonna quickly show you because we're gonna try and get on one tomorrow, but we haven't necessarily got one booked. So I'm not sure if we will or not, but this is what they look like, they're really, really cool. So this is the Doha boats and basically you get a Doha, I think, I can't remember how you say it, I'll put it on the screen, but you basically just get these kind of boats. It's really, really cool. So Bonnie's just bought us over a tiny cup of tea that they had in the corner and the girl's <laughs> saying it's questionable. It's, so it's, it's not is ideal. it really hot? It's oh, it smells like, it's it smells really it like, smells like, it smells really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> That's like a it? really odd taste. It's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> not sure, well, thank you Bonnie, happy. but I'm not well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's just sipping away over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're really cute little tiny cups though, like, this is teeny. So we've just got to Banana Island and it's all owned by Anantara and basically it's a giant resort, then there's like millions of different types of a and there's hundreds of different types of accommodation so we're actually just now walking up to look around the water villas which are two or three bedroom i think they said but i know there's also five bedroom i just don't know if they're here and it is stunning like it looks very like maldives kind of vibes and it's beautiful it's very very quiet there's not really many people here and it's just so relaxing already it's amazing at the high season at the most i love it already i want to come stay here for a bit So this is all one five bedroom villa. Wow. of the five bedroom villas at the banana island resort and it is stunning we've all changed into our swimmers and we're literally gonna get in the pool we've got a floating tray of fruit and drinks and stuff and it is so pretty here we've just been taking the craziest amount of pictures but it is stunning like i don't think you can really gauge it from a picture but it is beautiful if you head over to my instagram account then i've put a few up already more than likely by the time this vlog goes up so you can see kind of what we shot here but it's stunning i want to come and stay here
a virgin pina colada. I think we need the pina colada. Oh here. my goodness. Try that, Bonnie. What you got? That is so funny and fresh. That is so nice. It's like proper fresh oh. coconut. Mm. That is, that is so good. basically like yes. the kind of marketplace so this is what used to be in Qatar before it all got done up and it used to be where people came from like far and wide to get various spices and foods and bits and pieces and it's stunning it's still really old school and it still looks pretty cool but it has been redone I think he said about 10 years ago so it is kind of new but also still kind of traditional Parisa and it is stunning like this is ridiculously decadent like there is it, it's I'm gonna show you my teapot has a little fire oh my goodness good morning everyone I am very sniffly today but <laughs> that I think is from the flight I feel like whenever I get on a plane I just end up really really sniffly and bunged up and I've also put so much concealer on that my eyes look really like Pah. but it's fine we're gonna work with it we're gonna make it we're gonna make it okay so Today we are actually off to the National Museum and then we are going on, I think it's called a Doha cruise. I can't remember how you say it, but basically it is like a little boat trip and you go out and you can see the skyline. It looks really amazing. You can do it at sunset. I think you maybe can do it at sunrise. I don't know. Um, but it looks really, really cool. So that is our plan for today. And then we have a really nice Chinese later, which is in another hotel. But I realised I haven't really spoken or talked much in this vlog because I've genuinely just been having so much fun that... Picking up the camera to film vlogs has just been like, it, I just haven't thought to do it. Like, obviously it's really hard when you do trips and stuff because you want to document as much as you can for a vlog, but also you want to have as much fun as you can as well. Like having fun and living life is like the top priority. And then obviously you, you film the content as well. But I have just been having so much fun. Like the girls are amazing. The four of us are just having the absolute best time. It's just really lovely to be with like a small little group so we can all really get to know each other. And it's just so nice. Like I'm really, really loving it. But well, I'm about to go out for breakfast, so it's actually quarter to nine and we're all meeting at nine. But I thought I'd just head up early and get a little coffee or something and sit there because it's really nice in the place that we have breakfast and it's just like a rooftop view. It's really, really stunning. So I don't mind just sitting on my own, taking in the views. And sometimes, like, I love hotel rooms as much as the next person, but sometimes I get really bored when I'm just like stood in a hotel room on my own. So. I'm gonna go down. But I've got my bag packed for the day, so I've got all my little bits and pieces in here. This is my Loewe bag. I take this absolutely everywhere. It is my favorite thing ever. It's really, really good quality. I literally use it all the time, and for a basket bag, it's still in pretty good whack. I've also got my little rope sandals on, which are from And of the Stories, and this dress is from New Look. But yeah, I'm gonna attempt to sort my makeup out because it is really, really dark this morning. Maybe I've just done my eyebrows dark. Who knows what I've done? Um, and then I'm gonna head down. Good morning. I've actually vlogged this morning. I don't know why I'm saying good morning. Um, we have just got to the National Museum, which is the most incredible looking building you've ever seen in your life. And it's basically inspired by the Desert Rose, which we actually saw yesterday. If I took a picture, I'll put it on the screen now. If I didn't, then I'll try and Google and find one. But it basically is this really cool, like, sand kind of thing. And it's the most incredible looking building I've ever seen. And I'm very excited.
Diwan, which is the new restaurant here, and it is so D1. stunning. Diwan. Oh, Chloe. <laughs> Shiwan or Tiwan? <laughs> I, I mean, it's Diwan, one of the two. I'll put it on the screen. But this is the view and it looks amazing. You could literally see so much. And then what I also really love is they've got these really cool little seat bits outside. So you could just sit in here with your pals and just have a little cheeky cocktail. <laughs> you can't have a cheeky cocktail. You can have a little coffee or something. It's really, really cute. But I'm just loving this view. Absolutely amazing. But we're going to go have an eight course meal now and be fully, fully fed. So we've just got to the port again and we're about to get on one of these boats and go on a little cruise of the harbour and it's a pretty cool boat it's really old school very like traditional and this is something that a lot of people do when they come here because you get the best views and apparently the best time to see it is sunset but obviously we wanted a couple of instagram shots so we're doing it a little bit earlier but luckily today is really clear so you can see the skyline which we actually haven't been able to see until today because it's just been so cloudy that it's been like really covered and faint it's like a watercolor but I'm very excited i've never done anything like this before like a traditional old boat or anything so it's going to be really really good fun and i'm looking forward to it So it's our final breakfast and it's pancake day. So Bonnie has ordered us a pancake yeah. to the middle of the table. <laughs> so we're all just having breakfast and we had a little surprise and it's like it's also come with a giant amount of Nutella. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is our last day and we've just been downstairs and had breakfast so I've run back up to quickly finish packing my stuff because where I curled my hair, I couldn't pack the curlers and stuff so they're kind of just all over the place. Also, major travel hack, Sam does this and I kind of stole the idea from him, pack an extension lead because then when you get one plug, you can plug one adapter, plug the extension lead and then you don't have to worry about plugging a million things in, which is great. So I'm about to quickly start putting all of my stuff away and then I'm gonna get ready to go. Last minute sun worshipping. <laughs> Look at us, we're like, give us sun. <laughs> so it's a couple of hours later and I'm now flying home and basically there was what we have so what we have is like a space available for it to find which means that you are in economy unless there is a space in a business or whatever it might be. So basically the way out obviously me and the girls got the business class which is incredible and we were fully hoping and thinking that we'd get economy on the way back and it just so happened that myself and Chloe with PR actually ended up getting upgraded to a Q suite, which is basically like a certain type of seat that you get on Qatar Airways, which is like the new version of business class. And I spoke to the woman a minute ago, and apparently it's the exact same price as normal business, but this is like the upgraded version of the newer like flights and stuff. So I went to take a little like pod tour of my little suite. Um, it is really cool, and I'm kind of like I'm never going to get to see it in my life, and I'm really grateful, so I want to show you what it looks like. But I'm feeling so grateful right now. I've manifested a lot, and here I am sat in the queue suite on the flight. So this is what it looks like. So I've got two little windows here, then obviously my seat, and then I've got my TV here. This pulls out all the way back. If I can make it, I can't remember how you do it. It's like a little releasey thing. I don't know, but it basically pulls back and folds out. Then I've got a little side here, which has just got like my coffee and my little like Aldi snacks. Lol, I bought Aldi onto a bougie flight. Um, then you've got the controls, there's a little like seat bit here. And then I've got a door, 